Why haven't you started investing in stocks? Let us review some of these questions. How does the stock market work? Can you make money with stock investing? Is making money with stock trading guaranteed? How risky is investing? Will I lose my shirt? What are the fundamentals of stock trading? Isn't it a form of gambling? Disclaimer. Examples used in this webinar are suggestions and not recommendations. These suggestions are time sensitive and for educational purposes only. By continuing to watch this webinar it is deemed that you agree to the above. Typical scenario. The average person usually uses a financial planner to manage their savings in RRSP, TFSA etc. Over time, they realize that their investments are not performing well. In fact, in many cases, their original investments are now less than what they started with. So, what is their normal course of action? They usually find another financial planner. However, this does not improve their investment results. Frustration sets in and there is some tension in the household. Money is the security blanket for many households. Finally, they turn to experts, such as their accountant or bankers to seek advice. Unfortunately, these experts suggest other financial planners. When you mention self-directed investment, these advices suggest that you leave this to experts. Interpretation of that advice is that you are stupid. What do you know about investing? Introduction. This program is a complete solution that removes the fear associated with stock investing. Fear paralyzes most individuals. Given this preconceived fear, they abdicate the management of their hard-earned savings to the experts, who legally rob them that is. These experts receive their fees regardless of their fund's performance. Think about it. Do you know of a business where they lose your money, yet you must pay them? Legalized robbery. The reason we get or allow ourselves to be robbed is because of fear, a fear that has been masterfully created by the financial services industry. The aim of this course is to eliminate that fear. Think about a child trying to ride a bike for the first time, fear of falling paralyzes the child, then, suddenly, the ability to ride is a breeze. Individuals learn at their own pace. No two individuals learn the same way or at the same pace. The next generation will develop a skill set that has never been taught at college or university. The last thing you want is for a husband to teach the wife. Why are you laughing? We call it moments of intense fellowship. The stock market, simplified. The chart shows A, B, and C. The letter B represents the TSX which is a building on Bay Street, Toronto. It has an electronic trading system, that is, trading is done by computers. The letter A represents various companies that issue shares to raise capital. They will issue what we call stock certificates in exchange for funds received. The letter C represents individuals and institutions who buy and sell shares in the various companies in anticipation of earning a return on the investment that they make in these companies. The return can be in share appreciation or dividends or both. Who buys and sells shares of various companies? There would be individual speculators, mutual fund companies, banks, pension funds, etc. How does it work? The chart shows a simplified synopsis of the working of buying and selling trades via a self-directed broker's account. An investor opens a bank account and the bank's self-directed trading account on his computer. His trading account is connected via the bank's discount broker's computer server attached to the stock exchange. A sample example is seen using TD Bank's Easy Web Discount Broker's webpage. The investor inputs his buy or sell orders via his computer or smartphone. It is almost instantly sent to the electronic trading floor for execution. If the buy and sell orders are the same, then the trade is done. Immediately the shares are transferred to the buyer and the buyer's funds are deposited into the seller's account. There are two types of investors. Retail, consisting of individuals, and institutional, consisting of various institutions such as banks, pension funds, etc. How does a share is priced? The most common way is the auction process, where buyers and sellers place bids and ask to buy and or sell the shares that they own. A bid is when somebody wishes to buy a specific company's shares at a set price. An offer or ask is the price at which somebody wishes to sell a specific company's shares at a set price. When a bid and ask match, a trade is made. There are millions of investors who are willing to sell or buy based on their views of the value of a particular stock. There are millions of transactions that occur as investors convert their intentions to actions by buying, selling a stock that cause minute-by-minute -minute gyrations in the TSX over the course of a trading day. 
the stock market offers a fascinating example of the laws of supply and demand. If there are more buyers, the stock price rises. If more sellers, prices drop. Bid and ask terminology. A bid is a price at which the buyer is willing to pay. An ask is a price at which the sellers is willing to sell. When you see ticker symbols at the bottom of business TV or internet pages, these are completed trades. They are not bids or asks. Trades presented at the broker's account or summary internet pages are known as the EOD, or end of day, closing prices, highest prices, volume etc. Are you currently trading stocks? Absolutely if you have RRSPs in mutual funds. The chart gives an example a mutual fund, namely, IGFI Canadian Equity Series B. The details of this fund's investments are shown in the charts. For example, 8% of its investment portfolio is in the Royal Bank of Canada, 5.2% in TD Bank, 4.5% in BNS etc. The question is to find out how these banks performed individually. Could you not have purchased those banks' shares yourself? Can you make money trading stocks? The chart shows Royal Bank as the example. How big is Royal Bank? $1.62 trillion, 2020. How profitable is Royal Bank? $39.52 billion, 2021. Assume that you bought 500 shares of Royal Bank at $95 per share in February 2017. Assuming that you did not add or sell any of the Royal Bank stock, that is, you owned the shares for five years and you earned dividends every quarter since 2017. In November 2022, you sold your 500 shares of Royal Bank at $149. The total share appreciation would amount to $27,000 plus dividends generated would be $10,565. Totaling $37,565 in gains or a return on investment of 79% in five years. Ignorance buying stocks on hype etc. If you do not know how the company generates income, you will never be able to understand the risks that the company faces. The example shown in the chart is the Royal Bank's performance compared with a weed company, Canopy Growth Corporation. The evidence is enlightening. Dividends, a tale of two companies. The chart shows two companies, namely Enbridge Incorporated and Air Canada. Enbridge pay a dividend of $3.44 per share with consecutive increases for 19 years since 1990. Air Canada has never paid any dividends since inception. Therefore, priority would be given to acquire companies that have a track record of paying dividends. A common question, is the stock market risky? Everything we do requires risk. For marriage, there is the risk of divorce, for driving, accident, for investments, bankruptcy, etc. As seen from the above chart, where there is risk, we have an ability to somewhat mitigate that risk. For example, for marriage challenges, there is the option of marriage counseling as a mitigating factor. Is the stock market risky? Dot-com bubble. The burst of the bubble, known as the dot-com crash, lasted from March 11, 2000, to October 9, 2002. During the crash, many online shopping companies, such as Pets.com, Webin, and Boo.com, as well as communication companies, such as Worldcom, North Point Communications and Global Crossing failed and shut down. In 2002, there was a loss of 16%. But how long did it take to recover? By 2006, including inflation, it grew by 12%. The chart shows that when the market fell to approximately 11,500 points, the rebound was exceptional. The COVID pandemic caused the market to fall from 18,000 points to 11,500 but it rebounded to 22,500 points shortly. Over the long term, 10 years, the TSX grew 91%. Is the stock market a form of gambling? Question. Why was the stock market created? Answer. It was created to raise capital for companies to expand. Example. Let's say ABC Company was in the oil rig building business. It has an opportunity to drill in the North Sea. To do so, it needs a specialized oil rig which will cost $1.5 billion to build. ABC Company has approximately $250 million that it can draw from its bank account. Where will it go for the remaining $1.25 billion needed? Banks will not lend ABC Company the $1.25 billion because they will not accept the risk. Risk? Yes. What if they do not strike oil? How will the repayment of the loan be made? Raising capital. 
However, the banks may be interested in debt financing, for example, bonds assuming that they are comfortable with ABC Co. risk. A group of, say, 10 banks may be willing to underwrite up to $250 million with each bank being exposed to $25 million of ABC company risk. So far, we have accounted for $500 million, $250 million from cash account and $250 million from bonds, bank debt. For the remaining requirement of $1 billion, ABC company will likely issue shares, let's say at $10 per share example, 100 million shares to the public, via institutional investors for example, Merrill Lynch, Goldman Sachs etc., raising $1 billion from the market. The chart shows the summary, cash $0.25 billion, bonds $0.25 billion and the stock market $1 billion, totaling the cost of the rig $1.50 billion. How do we learn to invest? As the chart shows, there are three core areas that a novice investor should know. Firstly, fundamental analysis, the science of investing. Secondly, technical analysis, the art of investing. Thirdly, emotional analysis, the risk of investing. What is fundamental analysis? The study of the global economy and its impact on the domestic economy. For example, how the supply chain problems in China impact the availability of goods at Canadian Tire. Analyzing the economic growth of Canada and the US will reveal the sectors that will show growth. From the active sectors, a number of companies based on their analysis will be selected for being part of a portfolio that trades may be executed based on technical analysis. What is technical analysis? It is seen in a visual art form displaying the direction of share prices. How is the chart formed? Raw data from completed trades are shown in a bar chart. These are single day data are visually displayed in a single bar. As the daily bars are added as a series of data points, a chart is created. Resistance, days where sellers decide to sell, and support, days where buyers decide to buy, levels are then studied to determine trend direction. What is emotional analysis? It is the mastering of the two most destructive mental forces, fear and greed in investing. Fear is an attempt to have a perfect trade that is like a deer caught in the headlights. Greed is impulse buying that is, saying to oneself, I am brilliant in my own mind, research is not necessary. There will be an attempt by the novice trader to create a checklist of things to do, so that there is autopilot trading mindset. Unfortunately, there are too many variables for such a checklist to be practical. Stumbling block. Not sure I can do this. Let's look at an example. Enbridge Incorporated, stock symbol ENB. Fundamental analysis, how big is it? Google it. ENB owns the largest oil and gas pipeline in North America with a market capital of $89.5 billion, 2022. It is the world's 154th most valuable company by market capital. Technical analysis, from the chart, you can conclude that there is a resistance level at $53, point of selling, and a support level at $48. So, basically buying at around $48 and selling before $53. In the example, a buy at $48 and sell at $53 will give you a $5 gain per trade. Now if you did this twice within a six-month time period, you would have made $10 profit or 500 shares times $10 equals to $5,000. What kind of return? Controlling emotions is done by limiting the number of shares to be purchased by the capital available. The chart shows that buying 115 shares based on $50,000 RRSP capital is the correct approach, that is maintaining approximately 10% exposure. The profit would be $1,150. Proof that it works? Here's a testimony from Dave sent via email on October 20, 2021. Quote, since I retired in November 2017, I have been able to focus more on my investments and have done fairly well. I still mess up occasionally, that is, fear and greed. I feel very fortunate to have done as well as I have. None of this would have happened if I had not taken the train to invest course. I am very thankful. Unquote. Dave's trading account. It shows that he achieved 656% in five years. Proof that it works? A copy of a trading account during the pandemic time, May 15, 2020, to August 14, 2020. 700% in 6 months. Procrastinators never succeed. It is time for you to take action. 
please email admin at train2invest.com or leave a voicemail at 204-414-4109. Thank you for watching.